Hello everyone. Our title of the project is Remote Monitoring and Automated Control System for Real-Time Horticulture Based Growth Chamber using ZB Protocol. Now let me give a short introduction of our idea and why we chose this project. A recent survey shows that the population reaches 9.1 billion in the year of 2050. As shown in the graph, we need a r- enormous growth in the food production. And according to IFPRI, the yield reduces up to 30% due to climatic effects. So greenhouse gives a real-time solution. It is mostly used in hill station and extremely cold areas. The main challenge is to maintain the greenhouse in the indoor environmental condition without any manual changes for various crops plant inside irrespective of the outdoor climatic condition. Here is a overall block diagram. The block diagram consists of three units as I sh- as it's uh, as i shown first one is node unit the node unit to collect the d- real time values from the field and transmit it to pc unit by zigbee and then uh, pc unit receives the data from the node in a remote place via serial communication the real time values are temperature humidity and soil moisture then the control instruction are transmitted from pc unit to control unit here in control unit it controls the actuator from the instruction given by the lab view by pc unit with respect to the user defined values for each and every parameter this is our test chamber of size 10 cross 10 cross 12 feet let us show the arrangement of our project here inside the chamber we have designed and deployed two node unit for data collection and one control unit to switch the actuator This is node 1 and it is node 2 depending on the size of the chamber number of nodes are designed for precise data acquisition This is our control unit in control unit the zigbee receives a control instruction from the lab view that is from the pc unit the corresponding actuator is switched which is triggered by the each and every relay Here The display shows the current action taken by each and every relay connected to the corresponding actuator. The actuators are coupled are sprinkler, heat blower and cooling fan. These are few test crops provided by Tamil Nadu Agriculture University Coimbatore. Correspondingly, the three actuators are coupled to control the environment of the chamber. Such a way, the irrigation pipe is coupled with the humidity sensor and the exhaust fan is mounted to reduce the indoor temperature of the chamber. The pipe is coupled with the heat blower to the chamber uh, in order to increase the indoor temperature. And this is a heat blower for a single chamber. most often it's not used for this climate and this is our overall arrangement now let us see how it works a node consists of a temperature sensor lm35 humidity sensor and a multi level soil moisture detection unit the current data that is temperature humidity soil moisture are currently displayed in lcd and which each node is powered by 12 watt solar panel connected with a 6 volt battery This is for an efficient energy harvesting, so it can act individually. These real-time data are bundled and transmitted by a Zigbee transceiver to the PC unit. The PC unit, which acquires the data from the each node unit by Zigbee transceiver via RS-232 serial communication. The lab view receives the data with the help of RS-232 serial communication. And this is our lab view front panel. Initially, I am setting zero to all the parameters such as temperature, humidity, and soil moisture. The circuit error is indicated for the proper port connection with the PC unit. 
and here user can give a range of values for each and every parameter. The zone values are obtained and averaged as follows. This is zone value 1. This is zone 2 value, nothing but node 2 value. And this is the averaged value. By comparing the obtained value with the user defined value, the actuator is switched and triggered. In addition, the manual control panel is provided and the results are shown in the graph. Now by giving the various values for each and every parameter, let us see what are the control action takes place. These control instructions are transmitted by the transmitted to control unit to trigger and control the corresponding actuators. The corresponding actuators which are for the corresponding parameters. The indication is clearly made for each and every actuator point. The opt-in data is stored in spreadsheet, so user can retrieve and analyze at any time. Data have date, time and change of each values with the constant delay period. The results are plotted with the sequence of data stored in a spreadsheet.